Hello, here's my first uh, bird automaton. A bit unusual, it doesn't have a crank. You just pull the drawer out and the bird moves. You get the animation that way. It's actually a jewellery box. I had to borrow this one. I haven't made any for a while, so I just borrowed it for the video. I'll just show you how it works. So the tray comes out, you see the tray is the length so that it goes in exactly the right distance. When you close it, there's some flush. When you pull it out, the bird comes down. Because it's got a cutaway there, and that cutaway pushes against a roller. And that roller is a... Um, that roller is a uh, bell crank on a bell crank and so when the roller goes backwards it pulls the bird up. Let's see if you can see that roller in there. Can you see it? So that roller has to be a little bit beyond above horizontal otherwise it would jam but it just pulls the tail up and all the rest of the mechanism is inside the bird. I'll just put that to one side for a moment. So Basically, the bird is pivoted on its legs, so it's just swinging back and forwards on the leg. But that leg pivot goes a little bit higher as well and connect is jointed to the top rod. If you notice under the wing there, you see you can probably see that rod move, possibly see that rod moving backwards and forwards. It's got a little brass um, wire on it which pushes the wing out. There's a little. Uh, lever on the wing that gets pushed out. One of the complications of this design was I had to make little brass hinges which were fiddly to make. I glue those on in the right position. So that top rod is going back and forwards and is connected to the head. The head, the bottom jaw is also connected to the body and the head. But the bottom jaw, as you see, is relatively fixed. So if we move the bottom jaw up and down, you see the top jaw is moving against it because that top rod is getting uh, is coming backwards and forwards, pushing it down. So a fairly simple mechanism that works quite well. Uh, the complication being you need to get that roller in exactly the right place so that when it push this pushes it back. Not a lot of room because uh, you've got the top of the box there as well, which you can hit against. So fairly quite tolerances. So box closed. Open the box and the bird comes to look at the jewellery and opens its beak. Bit of a novelty. Thanks for watching, see you next time.